This is only the beginning. Florence is a very slow mover. We'll continue to trek along the, South, the North Carolina and South Carolina coastline for the next 24 to 36 hours. Hurricane Florence has made landfall in the Carolinas, bringing some of the strongest winds and rainfall that some of the residents there have ever seen. The death toll so far is four. That number could go higher. Officials say it's going to get worse before it gets better. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Mike Stedham. The slow, steady storm threatens to deliver several more inches of rain over the next few days. Let's check in now with Chris Wright for an active update on Hurricane Florence. Well, one update is that Florence is no longer a hurricane. It's, it's been slowing down. It's now a tropical storm. And, and the slowing down is, is both good and bad. Now, the wind speed slowing down, that's good, but it's still, you know, a strong tropical storm. It's still, you know, speeds that you would see if you stuck your head out the window while you're driving down the interstate. Uh, that's, that's some strong winds still, but it's also slowing down as far as how quickly it's moving across the landscape. And, and that's a bad thing. Here you see Florence as it was uh, approaching the, uh, the coast there uh, early this morning. And uh, it's just a very large storm with a, a, a huge amount of water and it's going to slowly move its way through the Carolinas and dump rain continuously as it does. So we're looking at trillions of gallons of water falling over the next few days and just moving, uh, like I said, at the speed that you would walk three to four miles per hour. It's going to be dumping rain, rain and more rain. And uh, we've already got uh, places that are uh, seeing 10 feet of water and uh, water rescues are having to be made. Those will continue to develop as the days goes on and uh, we're, we're approaching.